Yo, what's up guys? Just got back from my honeymoon slash, I don't know, like five week sort of vacation-ish time over in Bali and then we went to Bangkok, Thailand. But in this video, I'm obviously back in the studio. I'm gonna break down the exact funnel that you can use, you can take from this video. I'm not gonna gatekeep anything. You run from this video and you go implement it right now. This is the exact funnel that I used to go from zero to $89,000 of cash collected last month. And that was all on less than $150 a day in ad spend. While I got married, I traveled the world. Um, I was obviously like very busy with other things in my life as well. $150 a day in ad spend and $89,000 in cash collected. I'm gonna break down the exact funnel right now. And all of this stuff uh, pr predicates on the fact that you actually have a good offer and good messaging. Um, I think that's honestly the hardest, if you can figure those two things out, you've won half the battle already. Is like good offer and good messaging. If you have those two things, it's like everything else becomes way easier. In fact, whenever I coach people one-on-one, -on -one, the biggest thing we always have to work on is messaging, right? How do you speak your prospect's language? How do you know their problems? How do you speak to their problems? All that stuff. That's honestly the hardest part for most people to figure out is they don't know how to figure out messaging. But in this video, I'm just going to break down the three-step client acquisition process from leads to lead nurture, right? Leads, how do we get people? How do we get more people to know about who we are in our offer? Lead nurture, how do we nurture those people to not only know who we are and have watched our short Instagram reels, but how do we actually nurture them to become you know, high paying clients are going to pay us thousands and thousands of dollars over the phone or for me, thousands and thousands of dollars just via Instagram DMs, like literally without a sales call, right? So how do we nurture people to the point where they actually are ready to do that? Not an easy thing to do. So leads, lead nurture, and then lastly, conversion. How do you actually convert those people? What's the sales process? What's the, you know, how do you actually get them to pay you? Um, that's exactly what we're going to go through in this video. So uh, first thing I'm going to talk about as I open up a new note here is leads. All right, how do we get more people to know about our shit, right? Because we want about a bunch of people to buy our stuff. We need a lot of people to know what we do. And we need more leads. We need quality leads, which is kind of like the more important thing. So assuming you have a good offer and you have good messaging, meaning you speak to your prospects' problems really well, let's assume that now the problem is just like we need more quality leads, right? Which is actually not usually the problem. The problem is that your messaging sucks. But let's assume that you have good messaging and a good offer, right? If you want good messaging and a good offer, go watch a lot of my other videos too. Let's assume you have those things. Now, what's the exact funnel? Well, here it is. Two, three, maybe four ad creatives in your top of funnel. And these are all IG ads. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run what's called a profile visit ad, right? And if you're if you're just starting off, what I would typically recommend is around thirty dollars a day in ad spend. So you could spread this out of ten dollars a day each. You could do you know twenty dollars a day. Doesn't really matter that much. If you have two ad creatives, you know probably throw twenty bucks a day each, fifteen bucks a day each to start off. And this is basically what we're gonna do to get leads, right? So these ads are gonna be you talking in the ad creative saying, hey. Do you have this problem? Are you my per one? Are you my perfect fit client? Great, I can help you. Here's some free value. Follow me for more. And a followers is basically the entire goal of the top of funnel. So we're gonna have two to three assets that are our ad creatives. These ads that you're looking at right here, right? You can go on my page and look at the videos. My Instagram reels with the most views. Those are my ad creatives. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna point all these people to become followers. That's the entire goal of leads, right? We're not trying to sell anything yet at all. We're not trying to sell anything. Well, the problem most people have is that they try and sell while they're trying to get leads. You can't do both at the same time. Either get the lead or sell, one or the other. <laughs> so in the top of funnel, we're simply just optimizing for followers. Now, assuming you have really good ad creatives, you have two to three ad creatives that speak to your one perfect fit client really well, and assuming you have one perfect fit client for your program. Now, let's assume we're getting followers in, right? We have a couple of ads up, we run a profile visit ad, right? You literally go on Instagram, you can boost it, you can do it from the Facebook ads manager, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, and now you're getting followers that are interested in your messaging, right? And they're interested in the things you're talking about, meaning that they're, they're not super high intent yet, they're not ready to spend thousands of thousands of dollars in your program yet, but they at least know who you are, right? There's more people now knowing who we are. How do we nurture those people into paying us thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, this is exactly how you're gonna do it. This is exactly what you can use to go up to seven figures. 
if you're trying to get to multiple seven figures, well, there's a little bit of a different strategy. We're gonna implement some extra, some extra goodies, but for now, this is what you can do to get to seven figures. So, um, next thing is gonna be nurturing leads. And honestly, the big piece of this is long form content. How quickly can you get your leads, people that follow you, to consume long form content? If you think about a timeline from the time when someone comes in, they have no idea who you are, zero knowledge, to they're paying you thousands and thousands of dollars. This is not a set amount of time. This isn't, say, 20 days, right? That's not 20 days. It is how much content can we get them to watch? If they're watching 30 second reels, it's gonna take them a lot of time to finally get to the point where they're ready to buy. But if they're watching an eight minute YouTube video and then another eight minute YouTube video, right? Or just any, any piece of long form content, that's gonna get them way more ready to buy than anything else like posting a bunch of Instagram reels, which is what most people do. If you actually think about the concept of posting a bunch of Instagram reels and then crossing your fingers and hoping that based off a bunch of 30 second videos you posted, someone's gonna pay you thousands and thousands of dollars, that concept actually is kind of crazy. So why do most people just do that and hope? Well, I don't know why. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create one really good asset. Um, it could be a VSL, it could be a lead magnet, whatever you wanna call it. We need one really good asset. This is typically an eight to 12 minute video that speaks really well to your prospects problems and where they're at right now. And then speaks really well to the future of where, where you can take them. And then the process of how you actually do it, you're going to give away some free value. And then you're also going to point people towards other long form content like YouTube. You're watching my YouTube content right now. You're being nurtured. You're in my lead nurture right here. And I'm hoping that after this, you're going to pay me thousands and thousands of dollars to teach you how to do this. Right. And in order for me to do that, I have to nurture you to get to know who I am. So again, these are like, you know, more eight to 12 minute videos. They could be longer if you want, but that's typically the, the time I shoot for on YouTube videos. We're going to pay for the leads on Instagram. We're paying for the leads here. And then we're going to push them through Instagram stories, through Instagram content to watch our VSL, to watch our YouTube con to watch other long form content. Basically, how quickly can we get them to, to force feed? How quickly can we force feed them our long form content? That's the next question. Lead nurture can also come down to retargeting ads. Retargeting ads on Instagram. An ad where you retarget your current followers, you retarget people that have engaged with your profile with an ad and you get them to message you. So the entire goal of this middle of funnel is messages. I'm gonna draw my best version of a Facebook messaging logo. Dang it, almost got it. Um, the entire goal here is messages. How can we get more people to message us? Now let me ask you, do you think it's easier to get people to raise their hand and say, uh, to get people to, to raise out, to reach out to you and message you by saying, hey, anybody interested in paying me thousands of dollars? Anybody? Not a lot of people, maybe the people that are ready to go, the five to 10% of people that are ready to buy, maybe they'll reach out. But the majority of people aren't gonna reach out based on that. So what you're gonna do is it's called like a, a hand raised post, right? So you're gonna post in your story, you're gonna post on Instagram, you're gonna post YouTube videos like this that get people to raise their hand and, and reach out and start conversations. My YouTube videos, the entire goal is to start conversations. Uh, the retargeting ads, the entire goal of those is to get people to DM me, right? Start conversations. The VSL, the entire goal of VSL is at the end of it, the call to action is hey, message me back, right? So the entire goal is to start conversations. Conversations lead to conversions, keep that in mind. So the more conversations we have, the more conversions we're going to make. Um, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna reach out to people up here uh, via DM. We're gonna reach out to followers, people that engage, and we're going to say, hey, uh, just letting you know I'm here and uh, just wanna let you know I'm providing a ton of free value, right? Then when it comes to conversion, let's assume that you've nurtured people, they've watched your long form content, they've been consuming it, they've binged it, they're ready to go. Awesome, how do we actually convert them? Um, this is going to happen through DMs and sales calls. So I do it all through the DMs. I sell almost everything just via chat. So no sales calls necessary because my lead nurture is so good. But what most people want to do is uh, they go straight from lead to conversion. They get the lead in, they try and convert them right away to becoming a paying client. That's really tricky to do. <laughs> um, of course, there's going to be a few people that, you know, they watch your Instagram reels and they're just like, they resonate so much with it. They're ready to go. Majority of people are gonna need a lot of what's called lead nurture. So how do we actually convert the people that are ready to go, that have been nurtured, or there's just that five to 10% of people that are just ready to roll? Well, the way we're gonna convert them is first, we're going to walk them through what I call the stair step DM method. 
Um, if you don't have that framework, um, then go watch another YouTube video on the stair step DM framework, which um, maybe I don't have one out yet, but I'll make one for sure. So basically there's a quick little DM process you can walk people through to booking calls. Right, so this is uh, my version of a sales calendar. Boom, you're gonna walk them through the, the DM framework, the DM script, and then you're gonna book them in for a call. And then once they're on the call, obviously that's where you sell them into your program, right? And that comes down to you being decent at sales, but more importantly, you being better at marketing and having a good message. So this is basically the funnel that you can use to get seven figures. It is not that complicated. You don't need crazy email sequences. You don't need crazy follow-up. You don't need a crazy appointment setter. You need a few simple good ads. You need good messaging and you need some good long form content, maybe some retargeting ads. And you need a way to convert those people in the DMs. That is all you need to get from where you're at right now to the seven figure mark. So if you're trying to go to seven figures and you want me to show you how to do it, uh, DM me back on Instagram and let's roll. If not, then take this, go implement right now. Um, try it on your own. It definitely works. It's exactly what I used to go from zero to seven figures. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy your day.